Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every single advancement in hardcore Minecraft, where the entire world gets deleted if I die. This is an extremely difficult task with many unique challenges, so let's get started. Alright my friends, first things first, we gotta generate a new world after that embarrassing hot springs incident. Last time, we are starting from scratch. So, let's go ahead and get a new hardcore world sorted out. Set it to hardcore. As always, our world seed is going to be Cider Spider Attempt. It'll be 43 this time. Let's go ahead and get this thing generated. And of course, wherever I spawn is going to be my home base. Ah yes, right out in the middle of the woods. Perfect. Let's get this thing rolling. There's not a lot of time in our first day. It's going to be extremely consequential, so as always, we're going to start by establishing our perimeter. We're going to want a crafting bench. And there is our very first achievement, Stone Age. That is mining stone with our new pickaxe. We are off to a great start, but there's still such a long way to go. There's our second advancement, getting an upgrade. We've created our first stone pickaxe, but most importantly, what we want are many stone axes. And I'm now simply going to cut down every single tree in the general surrounding area. It's very swaggy. We seem to have spawned in a lovely little birch forest. Let's have a slight look around, why don't we? Oh, wow. Yeah, this is an incredible location. We've got a nice covered forest right down there. There's a river here. And I stand crowned atop my hill. So let's deforest this entire mountain and take over the wilderness with industrial sprawl. Long block style. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna knock out all of these trees just so that I have a good general little clearing. I want to make sure that I've got clean sight lines pretty far around my centric location. But as always, our first objective is of course establishing a shelter of some kind. We're going to hopefully accomplish that before the night falls. I'll probably shack up in a, a temporary structure and then we'll expand out from there but we need to create our hub and in order to do that I need a lot of resources the least of which is all these several tons of wood it's a real shame that these birch trees of course do not drop apples because that would have been a truly a blessing since without apples we're gonna have to set out and find a source of food pretty soon here oh, I just heard a skeleton guys I've got a bad feeling about this oh god he's right there oh look food bacon do you think this pig can save me from that skeleton over there? I think we're gonna have to work in this direction. Because the caves are scary. What's up, Mr. Oinker? I'm faced with my first moral dilemma, because on one hand, I really want to eat this gentleman, but on the other hand, he might be the only other piece of life for Miles. My sole friend in this truly friendless world. Uh, the sun's looking mighty low. I think we need to start building soon. Oh my god, an egg. I guess we know which came first. Another egg. A chicken. Okay. All right, things are good. Oh no, the sun's really dropping fast. Okay, we gotta start building now. Oh, I thought I had more time than this. This is bad. Okay, um, um, this is really bad. All right, we're just gonna try and make a, a spider-proof box here. No spiders get in. No spiders get out. We're gonna be fine. This reminds me of Attempt 27. We all remember how badly Attempt 27 went, right? Uh, I can't tell if this is a prison or a home, but it's where I'm at, and so we need to make the best of it. I'm gonna start digging down, see if I can find some stone. The simplest way to make this prison into a home is to add a little bit of light. Alright. Okay, so what we can do now is slap together a furnace. Throw this there for now. And we can start making some charcoal. We can use that to make more charcoal. Okay, okay, this is good. This is fine, we're off to a great start. Ignore all those scary monster noises in the distance. Doesn't matter if they can't get into this box. They will never reach me. All right, we got torches, we're good. Right, and slap down a chest. Throw some storage there for now. Uh, can I cook the eggs? I can't? Well, that's no good. What do I do then? I kinda like, oh no. Oh, well, I wanted to eat that. All right, hello, Mr. Chicken. I uh, guess you live here now. Yeah, you with the pretty face. Welcome to the human race. Look at this little idiot. He doesn't even know that he's going to be dinner tomorrow. All right, the charcoal factory is going well so far. There should be enough torches to get some work done while we wait for the sun to rise. Actually, it seems like it's already rising. But uh, let's dig down a little bit more and just see what we find. As you can imagine, uh, our next objective is to find some iron. So hopefully I can get some here underneath my house without having to go too far. The sooner we find it, the better. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's really no good. I don't think you can reach me here, guys. I think we're probably fine. Uh, that's a long drop. 
Alright, I'm just gonna collect this coal and uh, try to walk out of this place with my life. Alright, looks good so far, but let's uh, let's keep going until I find iron. This could prove to be truly dangerous going down this shaft, but I have no choice. In the name of advancements, I must press on. Goodness, I really don't like the look of this though. Ah! Ah, he's getting closer. I have to go down that way, but I'd really rather not. Okay, that should seal it off enough. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Ah, this place is scary, guys. I'm gonna go back to the surface. Oh, oh. Let's go back to the surface, guys. Oh, look at that lovely light of day. Okay, so in the very most basic sense, we have a box to call our own, but I would not consider this a shelter. This house is not a home. Not yet. But we're going to make it into one. Although, my current priority needs to be finding a source of food. Otherwise, I will simply starve to death before I ever accomplish anything, and that simply will not do. Alright, I see a lot of sugar cane in the distance. That's good. I wish I knew where that pig went, though. Oh, what have we here? Well, after fasting all day, it looks like we're celebrating with bacon. Ah! Hiya! Come on over here, get axed, idiot! Where'd that third one go? I definitely saw a third pig out here. Oh, here we go. It's Pig Central. Uh, get chopped, idiot! Oh, we're getting him. We're getting him. He's not getting away. No pigs left behind. Get over here. Come here, bacon bro. Ah! Yeah! That's the stuff. Okay, we are going to need a long-term solution to this problem, but at least for the interim, I have, uh, I've got something to eat. This is good. I like this little lowlands area down here. I might turn this into some kind of a wheat farm. In which case, I'm gonna need a grand staircase from my base down to there, but we'll work on that. First things first, though, let's go celebrate with a feast. Oh yeah, sizzle up some nice delicious pork chops in the furnace. Just like Mom used to make. All right, and bone appetit. Lovely, and now the quest for iron continues. There's a ravine over here that I avoided, but I'm willing to bet I could find some nice ores down here if I was willing to poke around. It seems a bit iffy though. This is a type of place that you go to die. So of course I'm going right on in. Seen a lot of brass. Oh, there it is. It was right there all along. Oh, please be enough for a pickaxe. Oh my God. It's not. Well, this sucks. There's a nice little starter hole, but uh, with only two pieces of iron, there's really not a whole lot I'm going to be able to accomplish. Uh, what's in the other direction? Anything? Oh god! Oh god, run! Oh god! Oh no, where'd my stairs go? It's nighttime. I was down there for a minute. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, break that, break that. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're gonna be all right. Let's uh, let's get this iron smelted because even if I can't make a pickaxe out of it, it will actually still count just as soon as the wait ends. Yep, there it is. Bam! Acquire hardware. Let's check our advancement tree now. Oh, things are going so well. All right, so next we need to uh, get some iron armor. We need to get a lava bucket and an iron pickaxe. Oh man, there's entirely separate trees of advancements. I didn't even realize. Well, this uh, this could take a while then, but that's okay because I have nothing but time. Oh, so much time. So yeah, I'm going to uh, choose to be reckless and go exploring this cave that's attached to my uh, my mine shaft. See if I can find any iron down here. Bearing in mind, I really only need like a piece or two. All I have to do is not die. It's basically that easy. This is a really awkward crevasse. I don't like this. Uh, this seems like a, a bad idea going down this. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get nutty puttied down here, dude. <laughs> this is the type of hole that you just, you, you don't realize that it's actually impossible to get back out until you're already too far in. Oh my goodness, how deep does this thing go? Uh, I don't know, bros. This, this looks like it goes to the center of the earth, but I can't even get any further down. Well, let's, uh, let's just see, huh? Okay, that's no good. I don't like the idea of descending into this place without having a wall to put my back against in case, uh, you know, something creeps up behind me, but that's the, the price of adventure, huh? It really looks like certain death down here. There's just too much uncertainty. Let's, uh, see if we can go this way. There he is. Oh my god, there's iron. We can do this whole thing safely. We never have to risk death at all. There it is. My third piece of iron. Oof. Okay. Oh, there's more iron over there. Ugh, it's risky, but I really want that. There it is. Show it to me. Oh, this is just delightful. Whoa. Okay, that one's a lost cause. Very importantly, we got the good start that we needed. I don't like it down here. Oh, there is more iron there. 
I don't like it down here, guys. Getting back out in itself is gonna be a task. All right, we're fine. Everything is fine. I'm gonna make it back to the surface and relax. Oh, I think we made it. Yeah, this is no big deal. This is no big deal. Hardcore Minecraft. Yeah, so what if there's a lot of advancements? That doesn't mean it's gonna be difficult to get them. Ah, crap. Let's go check on the house. Ah, oh, look at that. It's lovely up here. I've got eight lumps of raw iron. Things are great. There's a finished bar right now. Watch this. Watch this. We grab our sticks, our iron ingots. Bam! Isn't it iron pick? Upgraded our pickaxe. This is too easy. Next on the list appears to be getting diamonds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but we've also got here, suit up for getting iron armor. And what do you know, there's four iron ingots right there. And check this out, the iron adidas. There it is, suit up. Let's put them on. Oh, lovely. I don't know what I was ever worried about. This game is too easy. I mean, you know, other than the jaywalking incident of attempt number 33, but we don't talk about that. So anyways, now that we have a, a suitable amount of iron, I'm going to go ahead and do the unthinkable and create an iron axe. We're going to make a couple more stacks of torches, and I'm going to get to work deforesting this entire mountainside so that we have a nice, suitable clearing. Let's get some torches out. Because as I said, our first goal is establishing a perimeter and then establishing a shelter, a base of operations, if you will. This box will never do, because though it is functional, it is not formful. And let me tell you, Cider the Spider cannot live in an ugly wooden box. I need a base suitable of my station, which is uh, going to be something a little bit better than this. So I'm going to work on getting this wood cleared out, and then we'll establish our plans for a simple yet stylish survival shelter. Okay, here's our temporary perimeter. We may have some spider problems, but I don't think anything else will be able to breach these impenetrable defenses. I'm going to line the entire thing with glow sticks, and then we'll start the foundational work for our actual survival shelter. I want the entire thing to be level, so we're going to chop it all back to right about this height. Yes, truly nothing quite beats the satisfaction of digging a healthy hole. Kinda wish this cavern wasn't here, though. Anything angry in here? Uh, no. Okay, good. Oh, isn't this exciting. We are almost done. Ah, lovely. Nice and level. Let's go ahead and fill this on in. Ah, yes. Pure perfection. Now, this looks like a tract of land that I could cultivate and turn into some kind of ramshackle survivor town. We are off to truly a great start. Only problem is, now I've got more dirt on me than the average politician, so let me know in the comments what I should do with all this excess dirt. I'm gonna go throw it in a box for now, but I mean, I could build a city out of this stuff. There's tons of it, and there's probably only going to be more in the future. What should I do with the dirt? You guys decide. I'll make it happen. Because we've got a big dirt problem in Sideropolis. There's a, there's a lot of excess dirt. I need to know what to do with it. So please give me some ideas. Let's, uh, while the sun is up, continue our quest for vengeance against all these awful trees. Look at all these stupid idiots out here thinking they can produce oxygen, shade, natural habitats, and all of that nonsense. They are in the way of my expansionism, and for that they must all die. Like, do you really think any of these birch trees out here have got their tree license up to date? I guarantee you that none of them do. Not a single one. Outdated tree licenses, years of bad taxes they gotta go i mean seriously imagine having a canopy when i could have a front lawn and it is therefore that i must lumberjack because this lumber is jacked af gotta make room to turn ciderberg into cideropolis It'll all be worth it in the end. Look at this stupid bee. What does he really think he's got out here? Doesn't he know that I could put a parking line on this land? Oh, right. Uh, we got inventory problems, bros. We gotta manage those. I don't really have a way to get back into my, my box. Oh, no. It's okay. As long as there are pork chops in the world, I will be okay. I think we're just gonna have to, uh... Yeah, that'll work. All right, this is gonna be the dirt chest. It's the chest of the dirt. All right. I feel like a suitable number of trees have been uh, cut back for now. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time working on my base, because I need to establish at least a basic standard of living before I go so far as to chase further advancements. It is simply the way that it must be. So yeah, I'm gonna put on a couple of YouTube videos and crack away at it. I'll show you what I come up with soon. 
Okay, we've got some lovely weather here. It's nighttime and there's a crazy wicked thunderstorm, but I have uh, replaced my giant box of safety with a hole in the ground. And I just wanted to show you guys that. So all of my stuff has been temporarily moved over here. This is probably going to act as a giant storeroom as I develop the base around it. But yeah, the idea is we keep all the bad stuff out. We keep all the good stuff in and hopefully I don't die as I try to pursue my next couple of advances. Oh God. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh no. Uh okay, that's bad. I was I was not prepared for the phantoms. All right. Uh so since I haven't slept since the world has been created, these guys are going to attack me every time I come up above the ground. That is going to be a big problem. Uh I think the solution here is going to be simply not go above ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a bed, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, they're still there. They're going to continue circling, but the good news is they only appear at night. When the sun comes up, they'll die. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to wait this one out, boys. I think we're gonna tactically mine some stone as I wait for the sun to rise. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll find some iron. Oh, I need this rain to stop so these guys will burn to death. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Well, that was my only plan and it didn't work, so, uh, guess we're stuck down here. This is actually the worst ever. Look at them, they're still out there. I guess I'ma just keep tunneling deeper and deeper into the earth. I may never be allowed to see the surface again. Guys, I may be stuck down here for life. Oh my god, the sun. Nightmares can't hurt me in the daytime. So anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, uh, I replaced my base with a giant hole in the ground. And I think I'm gonna move some stuff down into this hole temporarily. And this here is going to be my box of safety. And from within this box, I am going to create a gigantic mine shaft down to probably deep slate. And somewhere along the way, I should hopefully run into some iron. So I will uh, update you on that when I get there. So yeah, plan's pretty simple. I'm gonna start from this ladder here and I think simply create a gigantic winding staircase that leads all the way down to the center of the earth. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I'll show you more when I've got more to show you. Oh my god I did find iron. Perfect. The tunneling is going well also. It's good to know that this is already looking like a successful endeavor. I'll share more soon. All right, still working on the tunnel, still working on the mine shaft, but uh, I stumbled across this small underground reservoir of water and I've got some iron cooking up above, so I'm gonna go and grab that because if I can get the water here, that means I don't have to go to the river to get it. So let's see, 10 pieces of iron, lovely. We're going to want a bucket. And while I would happily walk down to the river and grab some water, the last time I tried to go outside, I nearly died. So I think I'm probably better off just to uh, stay in my hole. I think that outside world it just ain't for me yet. Fortunately, it is daytime. And so now what I can do is fill this little one by one block, grab my stone hoe, and we're going to get ourselves a lovely little farm started. Ah, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Hey, we made an advancement. A seedy place. That is, uh, this right here. We're planting a seed. And while I certainly prefer a diet of meat if I can, I'm not averse to being a bread-fed chad for the time being, because wheat is abundant and meat is a little bit more scarce. But so far, things are going great. Uh, and I think it's gonna be worth my while to go ahead and put a, a little well right here, just so I don't have to make that journey again. Let's go ahead and complete that. Easy. Put our water back here. All right, delightful. And I'm gonna keep one of these on my person at all times, just in case I either fall to my death or encounter some lava that I need to cross. So yeah, back to the project. All right, everything is going great right now. We just got our first crop of wheat. That's pretty awesome. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just, uh, you know, replant that. Okay, almost got the whole square filled. And now look at this. I can finally start to mill bread. Isn't that lovely? Oh yeah. So that's pretty swaggy. And uh, let me show you how things have been going at the bottom of the world. So the mine shaft is, uh, is pretty much finished, at least uh, for the moment. We've got this really, really long winding staircase. It just keeps on going down all the way to Deep Slate. And here in my lovely furnace at the bottom of the world, I've got 20 iron ingots. Delicious. 
Now obviously Deep Slate is not actually the bottom of the world. There's another 60 or so blocks beneath me. We can keep on going. But mining any deeper than this with stone pickaxes would be pretty stupid indeed. So I think I'm going to expand out in every direction while we're still cutting through smooth stone and try to chug away at collecting some base level resources. So we're going to be looking for as much iron as we can get. Hopefully enough for a full suit of armor. Um, I'm going to be looking for hopefully some lava flows that I can make obsidian out of, and possibly even diamonds. They do occur very rarely at this level of depth, but for the most part, I think I gotta go much deeper before I can really find them. But yeah, even just coming down here, I can hear things in the walls, so there are caves around, and we might even explore some of those if I feel it is uh, safe and worth doing. But all that is secondary, because what good would it do me collecting all of those resources when I don't even have a completed structure to bring them back to? I still do not have a proper home base, we need to build one. So I'm gonna get to work on that. And very importantly on that point, I really need a bed so that I can come outside at night without getting murdered by ghosts. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of exploration. Oh god, the monsters aren't all quite dead yet. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploration. We're gonna see if we can find a sheep. I desperately need to make a bed to sleep in. And therefore a sheep must desperately die. Oh, there's one right down there. Uh... The little lamb is right at the edge of the kill woods, though. See, the thing about the covered forest is that it's dark under the canopy and monsters can spawn there, but I need a bed. I'm going in. Do you think I can, like, like just, uh, okay. I forgot I can make shears without a crafting bench. Therefore, the sheep gets to live today. Look at that, three wool. Perfect. Oh my god, look at that drop. Hey, there's lava over there. That's pretty handy. All right, we're back in Ciderberg. Really doesn't have much curb appeal at the moment, does it? It's okay, we're gonna work on that. Now that I've got the bed situation solved, we can hopefully start making great leaps and bounds toward the overall comfort of this place. <laughs> Respawn point set, I like that. It's very optimistic. It uh, implies that I'll come back to life after I die, which unfortunately is not true. Okay, so we're going to be making a base fit for a spider queen. I have uh, taken a lot of the stone that I got from digging the mine shaft. I'm converting it into stone bricks. Hopefully I've got enough. We're going to start working on the new build. And just to make sure I don't get absolutely murdered in one hit by creepers, I'll be putting on my lovely football armor. Delightful. Okay, we are laying the first few stones here, and now I've got a pretty good idea of what type of a home I would like to construct, but I don't know exactly what the scale of this is going to be. So I'll uh, experiment a bit and show you what I come up with. Okay, I've made a bit of progress, and uh, there's something that I wanted to show you guys. I'm still working on the, the base build, but have a look at this. So my idiot box got converted into a hole in the ground, which has now been converted into an even deeper hole in the ground. Right now, it looks right about like this, but let's go on down. I hope I don't fall in it. That would be pretty bad, but look at what's at the bottom here. So we reached deep slate, of course, but what have we here? Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Let's get it now. BAM! Diamonds! That, my friends, is a lovely advancement. Let's have us a look, eh? Husbandry. I'm not married. There we go. We've acquired diamonds. So the only thing left on this current tier for me is uh, getting a bucket full of lava. And then we gotta get obsidian and also block something with a shield, I guess. I've never used a shield in this game ever. But if you thought that was the only diamond I found, well, you're partially correct. You see, because I did find another diamond somewhere, but I also lost it again. I don't remember where it was at. So let's go ahead and put our armor on and uh, go see if I can dig this thing up. You see, somewhere down this hole is a, a lush cave system. This doesn't look right. I don't want to be here. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. So, if we uh, follow the glowberries, there's quite a labyrinth of caverns out here, which I am terrified of. I'm not the type of gamer that has many phobias, but I tell you, there's an axolotl. I tell you, the, uh, the way the caves are in Minecraft now, playing on hardcore, is really starting to give me a fear of open spaces. Every time I hear a noise, I think I'm about to die. Okay, this is right. There it is! I found it! Oh, it is awfully dark down here. I don't like this at all. Oh my god, there's more. Sorry, I just- I have to light up the surroundings, because I don't want anything spawning anywhere near me. Good lord, this place just never ends. I think I've lit up every branching cavern that's nearby to me. It's gonna make it a little bit harder to find my way back out of here, but it'll be fine. What is that? Oh, it's the axolotl again. Okay. I believe the axolotls are my friends. I don't think they mean me harm. Alright guys, let's be about it. Let's see how many diamonds we have indeed found. One. 
too. Yeah, that was not a very big vein. Alright, how about this one? Oh, look at that, it's got iron next to it too. This one also appears to just have been two blocks. Okay, so we're off to a modest start, but five diamonds is a heck of a lot more than I started with, I'll tell you that. Anyways, I think I want to get back to the surface here. Just as soon as I take this place for all the iron it's worth. I just hope nothing bad happens, I don't want a repeat of the cave bukake incident from uh, attempt number 23. Dear God, just once can the cave floor, like, exist? How deep does that hole go? I could take the plunge, land in that water, and mine that iron, but uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get back up from there. I'm gonna let it be. Let's get back to the surface. We gotta play this reasonably safe. Uh, where is the surface? This isn't right. I don't think the surface is down here, but, but what is down here? Oh god! Oh, we gotta go. Save me, Axolotl, save me. There's no way he chased me all the way here. No, he didn't. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god, I made it back. There it is, the tunnel. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's so good to be back on the surface. I will now proceed to commit mass cow murder. Sorry, beef boy. It's you or me, and I choose me. I mean, truthfully, I've got a stable bread farm going on. I don't need these uh, cows for meat. I want their skin. Then I'll have a bit of this. Oh god, the sun's falling. We gotta get back. Oh, I've stayed out too late. Guys, this is not good. It's alright if I keep climbing this hill, I'll find my home soon. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. Oh, there's so many creepers out here. Okay, so check this out. We got a lot of sugar cane. We got a lot of leather. We now have a book. That's right, I've got diamonds. I've got a book. The next thing I need to find is lava. So here's the plan. I definitely heard lava while searching for the lush cave earlier. There it is. Yeah, we're getting close to it now. Oh, well, this is awkward. I was really hoping to find a lot of the stuff. Okay, well, take what we can get, huh? Also, I forgot I actually need the diamond pickaxe in order to pick this up. But... All right, and there is Ice Bucket Challenge. We're collecting a piece of obsidian. We are advancing rapidly, but that's not what I came down here for. I'm gonna scout around and see if I can find more lava. Okay, so I extended the mine staircase down to bedrock just to see if I'd have better odds of finding lava down here. And uh, I'm terrified because whatever's outside of this tiny box that I'm in sounds like it really wants to kill me, but I did bump into some diamonds here, so let's go ahead and grab those, huh? I hear lava. We're on the right path. Ah! I think the lava's this way. Oh, it's above us. Judging by how it sounds, there's probably a cavern full of lava up there, and also probably some other terrifying things as well. Whoa! Yeah, there's lava. Let's see if we can work our way up there. Oh, we have hit the jackpot. Oh, all right, we found the skeleton. We're not gonna be able to get much obsidian if I don't deal with these idiots that are blocking my path. Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna wall them off. Playing a bit of a dangerous game here, I think. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna extinguish just a little bit of the lava. That way all the lights don't go out. And now we mine. That should be piece number three. Or sorry, number four. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in good shape. And while we're down here, let me uh, not forget this. Bam! Hot stuff! That is for getting a bucket of lava. Alright, I don't like it down here, let's get back to the surface. And I think by now you've probably already got a good idea of what this was all for. Let's go ahead and hit up our crafting station. Because with four blocks of obsidian, two diamonds, and a book, I can create an enchanting table. And I've uh, realized this is gonna come off as somewhat of a detour because I was working on my house, but the reason I stopped to get an enchanting table is because I wanted to power up my tools at least slightly to improve the quarrying process so that I could get the material to actually finish the house. So let's go ahead and make this. BAM! Oh, I, I thought I was gonna get an advancement for that. Uh, maybe do I need to put it down? No? Maybe I need to use it. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go for efficiency one. There it is! Enchanter! Look how swaggy that advancement is. Now we're getting to a point where our next advancements are going to be rather difficult. So we definitely need to finish the house before we can uh, take on any of those. There's one more thing I wanted to do though, to also speed up that process, and that is create our first anvil. This will help with the enchantments. We'll just leave that here in the courtyard for now. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a full tour of the base as soon as it's actually finished. So, that said, let's get back to actually finishing it. Alright guys, it's done. Let's uh, go ahead and- oh god! Oh god, why is there a skeleton here? 
Are you kidding me with this? All right, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. All right. I finished my survival base. I think that this will be sufficient to keep us safe as we try and collect the rest of the advancements. Uh, it's very, very simple, extremely robust, and not so pretty, but we'll upgrade it over time as things progress. So I'll give you a quick tour around, and then I'll show you what the inside looks like in this, uh, this shack that I'll be roughing it in. Basically, it's equal on all sides. It started out as a bowl, so I thought it would be cool to live in a giant cereal bowl, but then I thought maybe I should put some towers around the outsides of it and so I did that. It's kind of hard to get any good camera angles with the landscape being what it is. But yeah, I think you get at least the gist of it, right? So this is very much a work in progress, but it should be a good first step on our journey. Now the inside of the place was really just meant to be more or less a, a giant warehouse in order to hold all of my stuff as I collect items necessary for survival. And so as well as the ground floor which has the beginnings of our storage, we've got a couple additional floors up above that I can expand further storage onto if I need it. And over here in the courtyard is just kind of my general purpose stuff that I've been using. So let's go on upstairs and have a look at the, the top level. We And this gives us a view down onto the outside world. Quite nice. And here's the roof. It's nice and simple and pretty, I guess. And basically, that is everything. That is the whole survival shelter built. I know it's a very, very simple foundation, but as you may know, there are many, many advancements in Minecraft. It's going to take quite a lot of effort to get them. And so this simple shelter should facilitate me getting started on my journey. And now that we've got a house, a nice safe place to rest at night, we are of course going to need a more sustainable source of food. As you can see, I'm running low on bread. And so next up, I think we're going to have to start working on some proper farms and raising some livestock. But that is going to be a journey for another day. So let's see how we did. Let's go ahead and check our advancements tab. As you can see, I've done almost nothing in the husbandry tree. We'll work on some of that stuff next time. But I did plant some wheat, so we got that one. Let's have a look at adventure. Yet again, this is another tab I have very, very little advancement into. Since we've just been foundation building, not much adventuring has happened yet. But we do have a bed, and we have killed some monsters. And finally, there's the general tab, which we obviously have the most progress in. We've upgraded from wood to stone to then iron pickaxes. We've got iron armor, a bucket of lava. We've found diamonds and collected obsidian as well as enchanted items. There's still a lot left to do, and I will do all of it. So I'm very pleased to report that we have survived our first endeavor. We have finished our first episode. We have finished our first objective. We have built a house. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably. This definitely isn't a scam. Happy April, idiots, and good night.